All right, hey, this is Thumper with Blue Collar Builders. I'm with, uh, one more time on the name. Titian Burris. Titian Burris. And this is for Heat Masters or Heat? Climate Master Geothermal Heat Pump Systems. Okay, listen, um, working on my BPI certification, I actually came across uh, issues of whether uh, heat pumps are applicable uh, compared to uh, AC units. One of the issues was you can get a really good one or a bad one with regard to how loud they are. And as it stands, uh, yours does not have a fan. Right. This is a geothermal heat pump, which we do not use the outdoor air temperature uh, to basically heat and cool a home. We use a uh, series of under, buried underground pipes and we circulate water through them using the constant deep earth's temperature uh, to do heat exchange. So that's basically we don't have any outdoor equipment. We don't have any exterior fans that make noise and things like that. If you're building a, a house that has a lot of architectural characteristics to it, if our product, our system does not have outdoor equipment. So you don't even see it. Uh, and as far as the noise on the inside of the house, it's about as loud as a, uh, the common refrigerator. So it doesn't make much noise, very quiet. Does this display show exactly how it would be uh, situated in the home? Um, let's see. You have it buried underground here? Yes, this right here is an example of uh, a typical system. This would be like an example, a four ton uh, house. This kind of shows, this would be in the mechanical closet, the unit. It does use air distribution. So we are, we do have a return and supplies, um, supply duct work. But as you can see here, this is the buried underground loop. And uh, in the summertime, we're actually rejecting heat into the loop. Right. Uh, in the wintertime, we're absorbing that heat. Right. So it's, it's a totally reversible system. Also, the other thing is about it, whenever the system runs, it produces hot water. That's kind of a byproduct of the, of the equipment running. So it's super high efficient. These, these systems are about 400 to 600% efficient. Um, you know, a lot of people are like, what does that mean? Well, like you take, for example, a gas furnace is 95% efficient. Okay, so basically, when you have a therm of energy going into that furnace, you're going to get 95% of that out. Our systems, you put one kilowatt of electricity in, you're going to get five to six back. Okay, because we're, we're actually pulling a lot of that energy from the ground. It's a sustainable, green product. So how deep, is this just for new home applications? No, we, we do a lot of retrofit um, whenever someone's replacing their system um, and, and they want to go with a super high efficient system. We do a lot of these, a lot of installs. Now do they have to dig it out like a pool or what are we looking at as actual depth? No, what this would be, um, for example, Northern California, you see a lot of vertical loops that are installed, and so what we'll do is this would be, uh, again, an example of a four-ton system. These would be 150 foot deep boreholes, okay? And so what we're doing is we're putting pipe down the borehole, and then we're backfilling it with thermal conductive grout to fill, to fill any voids. It's about a four-inch borehole, very similar to what you would see when someone's drilling a water well, okay? Same kind of equipment. And so you're looking at about 150 foot per ton per borehole. This would be like an example of a four ton house. Okay? Yeah, so and then you put in the grout that obviously stabilizes it and protects it. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So obviously this is a picture of the unit. And if we get, uh, well actually the, you'll have a whole series yeah, down this here. This is our family of product line, which includes everything from uh, water to water for in floor or radiant or potable hot water heating um, and pool heating, um, all the way down to a split system where we have, a, you know, you have an air handler and a refrigeration line set that goes to the condenser. Um, and then we have our package unit, which is what we have on display here. So this is kind of the whole family product line of our, of our geothermal heat pumps. Now how much uh, difference in t uh, ambient temperature can you gain uh above or below if you're trying to cool it versus heat it from the ambient temperature. Is it uh, similar to an AC or is... Oh yeah, you're going to get a very similar, I mean, you're going to, you know, you're going to see a huge increase. It's not going to be any different. I mean, it, it's, it's really, when you think about a geothermal heat pump, it uses all the same components as an air source heat pump. It uses a compressor, we're using a refrigeration circuit, we're using refrigeration, so it's more or less the same. We're just using, a, we're, it's, it's a liquid cooled system, okay? So, we're in, and then we're using that constant deep earth temperature 
to either absorb heat or reject heat. Okay, now obviously the next question that people are going to have is uh, the return on investment, the value of it. If you're doing this much of extensive work uh, on the labor end of it, uh, what is the value to the uh, end user? Well, number one, it's, it's a great investment because there is a return on investment. Depending, there's a lot of variables on what your return on investment could be. That all depends on what do you pay for a kilowatt of electricity, are you using natural gas, are you using propane? You know, those are all different things. Um, so it's, it's very hard to pinpoint a return on investment unless we go through the motions of a, a manual J heat load calc and find out what size system you need. I mean, that's number one. And then and just kind of have to go through the whole steps and then you can figure that out. But we see a lot of, a lot of times on average, you'll see anywhere you can see five years, uh, you know, to eight years. I mean, that, you know, that's obviously a ballpark estimate, but that is a realistic return on investment. Well, let me ask a more specific question. So if you were uh, to install the labor cost of installing, let's say a traditional AC unit versus this, are, are they comparable? Um, Actually, it's, it's more expensive because there's more uh, labor involved. Uh, whenever they actually put in the ground loop heat exchanger, which I had mentioned over here, you talk about the drilling, um, there's other ways to do it too. They can also go horizontal where they trench. That, that's just another way, which we didn't really talk about that much, but you can do that. Now, the uh, cost of installation, you're going to see about a 30 to 40 percent cost increase over a high-end, high-efficiency conventional system. And the other, well, the offsetting benefit, though, is you're, you're not worried about trying to get up to 100%. Your efficiencies are six times that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So that's where you're getting the value back out and then where the return on investment? There's a couple different things, okay? Typically, when you install a conventional system, number one, it's, it's not going to be 400 to 600% efficient. Okay, that's number one. Uh, number two is, is typically there's not a really good return on investment on a conventional system. There just never are. They last maybe 10, 12 years at best. Our systems last 24 years. That's just on the equipment itself. The ground loop is warrantied for 50 years, the, the heat exchanger that we bury in the ground. So, I mean, you have a longevity factor there. The other thing is, is you see uh, cash flow from day one. Okay, so basically when a homeowner puts this in, they're going to see an instant uh, decrease in their utility costs. So that's instant cash flow in their pocket. Okay, so the next thing is um, you're going to see uh, instant comfort change in the house, okay, because these systems really keep a, temp a, a, a tempered temperature, stays the same very all the time, very consistent. So, I mean, there's just a lot of different things. The caveats are unreal. It's, it's not just a return on investment. There's just a lot of other things to it that on a conventional system, it just can't, it can't really, it can't do it. So. Yeah, so it's not a single column analysis uh, to uh, get the value out of the uh, actual system. Right. There's just a lot of things. Another thing is, is uh, the cost of ownership in a home. You think about cost of ownership. Uh, these systems without, uh, we don't have a combustion chamber, so we aren't having to clean combustion heat exchangers. That's usually something you have to do annually, at least you're supposed to for safety reasons. Uh, the other thing is and uh, when you get into the uh, spring, a lot of times you have to do an outdoor condenser checkup where they have to come out and maintenance the condenser, clean it, whatnot. You don't have to do that with these systems. So your cost of maintenance actually goes down. So positive cash flow day one. This unit here is the uh, Climate Master Tranquility 30 Digital. Um, this is a, uh, a 30R unit that um, is self-contained. This is a package unit. Um, when I say package, that means it's all in here. The compressor the uh, evaporative coil, the uh, heat, the uh, water heat exchanger, our coaxial heat exchanger, uh, and the uh, blower section, which is going to include the variable speed fan motor. Is uh, that something you can remove real quickly to show people, or is that kind of tied together? Um, well, I can pull it open and show you. Like this is the, uh, which we have a couple, <laughs> couple ponies stashed in here. Perfect. This is, uh, this is the uh, blower section. You have the air coil here, variable speed blower motor. Um, the compressor section we have bolted down right okay. now, but um, but yeah, you can pull this all apart. As far as serviceability, we focus highly on being able to service these units. Um, so we just got a lot of different features that no one else has really. Right. I mean, you know, some of the things. Obviously, the appliance grade, stainless steel uh, access panels. Um, then everything else is uh, appliance grade, powder textured, powder coated. Right. Um, 
We do a stainless steel drain pan. Awesome. So you have antimicrobial resistance, kind of like they do in commercial kitchens. It's all stainless steel. Why? Right. Because you can clean it. It's not very porous. Right. Same thing with our drain pans. As you know, in, in the business, we see a lot of gummed up, nasty drain pans. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this really helps with that. Uh, some of the other things, we all of our systems come standard with a two-inch uh, return uh, filter rack with a MERV 11 filter in it. Okay. Um, so good indoor air quality. Uh, characteristics. A lot of pleading for uh, e easy flow. That's right. Yeah, very good flow. The other thing is our warranty. This product has a 10-year warranty. Okay, 10 years on p all parts, 10 years on labor. Okay, now the standard is a 10 and 5, five-year labor, but we have a very inexpensive option to opt up to a 10-year all labor. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And I noticed some uh, pretty heavy-duty connections over here. Yeah, this is going to be where we connect uh, the ground loop heat exchanger to the unit. Um, this is where we would uh, connect our uh, hot water tank for the hot water generation. Right. Okay. So this is just basically where we'd plumb it up. You're awesome. Hey, why don't you give a shout out for your company, uh, where you guys are located again? And uh, Climate Master, uh, just go to climatemaster.com for more information. We're based out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, right there in the heartland of the United States. Awesome. Hey, this is the wave of the future. Uh, heat pumps are, uh, you, you've heard already, they're highly efficient. Um, so it's something you want to look into. Return on investment, it's there for you in the long, the long run. One thing I wanted to minute, minute, mention, 30% federal tax credit uh, to the owner um, until the end of 2016. Awesome. And like Cuba Gooding Jr. says, show me the money, right? All right. Hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate your time. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks.